Uh, what we've done today is a 57 acre prescribed burn on uh, grass for an improved pasture. Uh, you can see here that we've done uh, the burn on a good day when it's nice and dry, the humidity was low enough for us that we did not get a lot of uh, humidity which would cause the fire and the uh, grass to cause a lot of smoke. We see a little smoke that we have right here now from the uh, residual fire but you can see if you look above it's dissipating very well. Right at the initial fire we had smoke so with the, the weather, the parameters that we've had today, the low humidity, the low temperatures, good winds to get the smoke out of here, it was a perfect day to do a pasture burn. Process is we put in fire lines initially, so we have a block of uh, uh, woods, or in this case a pasture. That this is all we're going to burn in this area. And we use the bulldozers with the tractor, with the uh, plow units, to put in the fire line, removing the fuels. Then we'll come in with our uh, fire pots and black in the line, which is on the other side of where the wind's coming. So when the wind would hit that, it dies down the fire burns back into the wind and it's a, sl a, fa a small flame which is going to back into it and just burn up the vegetation. Then once that black line is uh, significant enough for us, usually 50, 75 feet, then we'll start bringing the fire on the other side with the wind carrying it, whether it be with a spot fire, whether it be stripping, putting more fire down, and which is going to burn towards the black line and uh, burn out all the vegetation.